more likely, but I would say two over or better, and you're assured of a tee time tomorrow. Megan Kang gets it right back. Maybe she heard us talking about her putting, and she said, watch this. As a player, lots of memories for Megan Kang on this property. As we go back to 12, and Jin Young Ko's third. just a little short of where she wanted that uphill slope absolutely killed it but yeah she's gripping down just a little bit on the club with that ball slightly above her feet knowing that it will tug a little bit to the left off of the lie. And really well done, just big release. You know, we wondered if we see a little softening of the hole locations today. And we, to Megan Kang coming off her second bogey of the round. That was a pretty heavy divot. But look at that shot. And give herself some birdie chances. Let's see if she can do what Allison did. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. There she goes. Right, this group plays the hole at one under. All right, coming off her birdie at 15, Allison Lee. Can she go flagstick hunting here at the par three? Will it come down? Yes, it will. Oh, that is just continuing to get prettier and prettier. I have three shot hole for the entire field. Yuka Sasso, though, laid up in a perfect spot here. 110 for Sasso to this front pin. She's found it. Uh, her divot was a really big, but she does take big divots. And uh, Jin Young Ko missed the green at 17. This is her third. Oh, this could be in. Right side of the fairway for Jin Young Ko, and her third here at the par five. As expected there. Oh. That's good. Bounce up there. Yeah, straight uphill almost the entire way, was able to be firm with it and just stayed. Oh, you were wondering yeah. how she was going to approach this flag being in such a great position in the fairway. Off birdie at two, Jin Young Ko has gotten it within four of the lead and trying to find the perfect swing here at three. I feel like we're just on repeat right now. Another beautiful shot from Jin Young Ko. Great holes on the front, got that one to drop at the 10th. How about her third at the par 5 12th? I mean, this is a golf course where yesterday we saw only one score of four under par as the best of the day. How lovely. The six hunter through 12 holes, par at 13, and then she really turned it into overdrive at 14. That one drops for Bird. She's seven under on a round. How about her second at the 15? Well, she's one of the very best ball strikers in the world and proving it right here at the 15th. 
and that short one would fall. Jin Young-Ko, four under par in a round today, five under for the tournament. Second shot here at six. And as expected, the way that she's been hitting it today. Yeah, she elected to hit it up. Into the hole! Hey. Yes! Give them something to cheer about, Megan. It's been a day. All of that mountain climbing just to get back to where she started, right? Two under par. Yeah, just like... up there. Oh, what do you mean between clubs? This is the perfect club. Wow. A really good judge. Also a very safe play having it hit on that front portion of the green, not trying to take it too Uh, she definitely went for it. Are you kidding me? What a time to do that. And one of the reasons she has so many rounds in the 60s is because she plays so many rounds of golf. And unlike Nellie, who takes so many tournaments off, Lauren plays a ton because she feels like she's playing such great golf. Lauren Coghlan trying to just maybe cut one in there a little bit. I mean, absolutely perfect distance control there. I think she's trying to make this one. I'm, I've never checked the wind from this short of a distance. Well, when you're on fire like Lauren. Oh. <laughs> Massive hop. That's going to get to the down slope. And she aimed it a little bit to the right because of that ball up below uh, the ball above her feet it was going to create a little bit of a draw, but created also a massive bounce. Both Katsu and uh, Pakanan and rip their drives down here. And not much in that one. Made it look very easy, this hole. Check this scorecard out for Bianca. Yeah, this is a 30-footer for bogey. Drove it left in the trees. Punched out across the fairway into the rough. Hooked it again into the left fescue. And it's, this is a surprising double because it's been smooth sailing for her up until this point, four under on the round until this double. Sure, folks at home would like to have a marshal help yeah. them find golf balls on would occasion. Would we ever? <laughs> well, here's been the breakout star of 2024, oh. Lauren Coglin. Oh, that went in the hole and came back out. My goodness, carrying a little bit of pa extra pace, but I could have easily fallen in. One in Canada earlier this month. Top 10 in Portland. Over the next few weeks. We go up to one and Madeline Sagstrom second. Oh, put a little spin on that ball. Oh, beautiful. Bianca may threaten that if this one drops. 
Back down the green here. Good look and didn't quite keep the speed up on that line. Not sure that after this, the way the golf course played yesterday. Titles won the Women's Am in 2009. U.S. Pub Links. And she's playing with an amateur, Elizabeth Rudisill. Somebody likes it. Didn't go in, but that's awfully good. Over at the first, the 10th of the day for Lauren Coughlin. Seventh place, but nine back, Morgan. Yeah, it's a long way still to go. But definitely, the golf course is much more scorable today. Yeah, ball slightly below her feet, but she's got a lot of green to work with here. Just trying to play one in low. It's a nice shot there, and it gives give her a great chance for birdie. Just below the level of the hole. Let's keep the speed up here. Wow. Fooled her as well. You should be frustrated not to have made that. That was a great look, as you say, on the easiest hole on the golf course, but still very good round of golf. And also hit it a little too hard, so she's past the hole on the left-hand side. See if NASA can dial in the speed and break. Didn't look like she was really thrilled with that contact right there, but it's going to work out okay. Nobody ever wants to be refreshing their phone all evening on the cut line. And Lauren Coughlin, her third at the par five second. Come back a little. Flag at the back of the green today. Do you get aggressive? I mean, if this lands about middle of the green, it should feed back. You can't get too aggressive on that back pin. Parked it on now back up the hill. You think she'd be a little disappointed to have that length of birdie? You know, where she was in the fairway, I think she could have got a little bit closer, but it's a tough hole. You know, you don't know where that ball's going to land on that green feeding away from you, but um, easy par. Did you watch much of the golf last week at St. Andrews? Well, that's going to release nicely up the slope. That's a par. Daniela Darkea, you see number 148 in the race to the CME Globe. Time running out in the season for full field events. Yeah, she's recently, like, I guess this year, made her home not far from where I live in South Florida. It's a U.S. base. That'll help. Well, we saw Lauren Coughlin's approach at the fourth roll off the right side of the green. This her third. This green was really tough to hit yesterday, but... Oh, just 119 yards. Such an advantage being long off the tee. This is a high one, aggressive. And she can't quite see this. The flag is in a shadow. It's very hard to see where the ball is finished. Speaking of chipping in, that's exactly what she'd love to do right here. Uphill shot. Yeah, she's just got to get this tee shot straightened out a little bit. These misses left are really costing her big time because they were so much slower than players are used to. Nasa for bogey. Well, she was four under for the first seven holes, and she's been four over since. Unfortunately, she finished in a tie for fourth, which is the spot nobody wants to finish in in the Olympics, but I'm sure she took a lot of uh, confidence out of that. And I tell you what, that is a shame because she left that below the hole. It was the perfect spot to be, to have an uphill putt. Hard to do it where the flag is cut today. So a couple of missed opportunities. 18th, this was just a moment ago. And Dati Ardina of the Philippines, right on the cut line. The Actually needs to, ready to get inside of it. Oh, and then that first group out this afternoon, that is going to do it for Dottie. Here is Bianca at the 16th. Yeah, just 120 yards today. The flag has a bit of a backstop. This is just right of the flag. And then it spins down towards the hole. Good shot there. Statistically, number one on tour in ball striking is head on you. And here's number two on tour, Lauren Coughlin. It's just 
difficult playing is one of the hardest, second hardest of the day. Another tee shot that she has missed left, although not into trouble. But coming off kind of a scrappy downhill lie in that first cut of rough. Oh, 27 paces on. It really is only five or six behind it if you go on the line of the flagstick. Came up short with a birdie putt at five. This for par. Yep. Good. Just can't seem to get the putter to light up either. And that often, Morgan, will just, you know, click something in your body and your mind to get you going. You've got to see a putt fall. You know, have needing to grip down a little bit on this club with the ball above her feet. I've seen that quite a bit out here. Make the ball draw just a little bit and wow. All right, so she has had several looks at birdie that have just not gone in. And we have seen big leads hard to hold. At 17, Pogdanadan. Yeah, from 119 yards, this is right of the flag. That knob in the middle of the green. And should leave herself another look at birdie. But uh, we'll call her Gino. They love the name Gino around here. Gino Capoletti, Mr. Patriot. Pat season gets started here in a few days. Lauren Coglin at the sixth. Yeah, Gillette Stadium, not too far from here. 10 about, minutes? Yeah, it's so close. Huh? Trying to make that cut. Here is Nasa for birdie at 16. Yeah, trying to make a two, a little left to right breaker. And she's uh, gonna have to have her work cut out for her to move up this leaderboard this weekend. And Hayden, you has some unfinished business this weekend as well. Almost looked like that settled down. We'll have to see if that ended up in a divot or not. Lauren Coughlin to get a little bit closer. Ticklish putt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was thinking it's the opposite with Lauren, who will have Terry McNamara, who is an American, yet has been in the European Solheim Cup team room many times with Annika Sorenstam. Short iron in hand, that, that looked like an eight iron. Front left hole location. Really feels like a birdie hole right now. No wind and short iron in hand. Nasa for birdie at 17. Yeah. All right, second birdie at the back. Now well, she has the second best round to hate on use 62. Third shot at the seventh for Lauren Coughlin, who's just kind of lurking back there. A couple of wins in her last four starts. Rosang, a couple of opportunities have gone begging. How about the 17th? Good looking swing there. Nice balanced finish. Usually leads to a good result. Pogdanan for birdie at 18. Trying to chip it in, fancied it. I thought she might putt that one, but obviously fancied the uh, chip in ski to finish the day, but she's got a little bit of work to do to finish with a five. It'd be a great shame if she dropped a shot here. Going with the pitching wedge from 115 yards because a little breeze has picked up and is hurting, so the shot will play a bit longer. Oh, I'd say she dialed that <laughs> really nice. And I think um, after watching Lexi's come back short, he's just, you know, basically encouraging her to go a little bit past the flag, if anything. Yeah, there's no question that Lexi's shot changed their game plan there. And for the better, brilliant. And you see there, tied for Biff, playing her last hole of the day, the ninth. Hole location all the way in the back left today. Quite get that turning left opportunity to get it close. 